Hey everyone, this is Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. I um, wanted to share a couple things with you this morning. Um, I have received some really fun cards in the mail lately, so I want to share those with you. Um, I also got some happy mail in the mail from Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. And then I also popped over to the art supply store this morning and just picked up a few things that I was wanting. So um, I also want to share with you these two little cuties. Alan brought these home for me last Friday and um, I think they are adorable. They are blue giant Koken and uh, they are going to be uh, big girls with poofy feathers and feathered feet. I don't know if you can see their little feathered foot here. Um, but they're going to be laying some really nice, beautiful eggs for us um, in about six months. So these girls are so cute. And he also brought home two uh, little chipmunky colored chickens. I'll go get those as well. So he also brought me two of these little chicks. These are cream leg bars and they will lay blue eggs. Um, the coconut will lay a creamish light brown egg, but this little um, cream leg bar, she's gonna lay blue eggs. So I have two of these now and then these two cute little ladies here. So this was a gift from Alan to me. Um, he knows how much I love chickens, of course. And uh, they had them at the feed store one day when he went by for some propane for the barbecue grill. So. <laughs> but you know go to the feed store for propane and come home with baby chickens it's perfectly normal <laughs> so but these little gals are so cute um they're in the living room right now with a heat lamp and a heat pad under their little box and eventually they'll get to move out to a brooder that's by the chicken coop so uh so cute and wanted to share them with you you can hear the other one in the background singing for its friends <laughs> So cute. Anyways, let me go ahead and put these girls away and then show you my happy mail, the cards I've received lately, and my art supply haul. So I'll be right back with you. All right, so I have some beautiful cards I've received in the mail recently and I wanted to share them with you. Uh, this card is from my friend Carol D. And it says, to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. And um, that's one of my favorite sentiments. And I truly believe that that is true. So it's a cute little image there. And she left me a beautiful note inside. Um, I love these little bees. Carol and her husband have beehives and they um, have honey, their own honey. And so um, I love these little bees, Carol. Thank you. And that's such a cute little bow there as well in the corner. So a really cute card and I love that. I love her little outfit too. And I'm actually, I used to have little red um, garden shoes like that. So cute. Um, here's a card that I received from my friend Gabby. Gabby with an I. And she used this beautiful um, vintage button card. Um, sewed on these gorgeous turquoise buttons and then layered on these cute little papers here and there's a little real pretty doily in the background there as well. So very, very cute. Thank you, Gabby. I love this paper here. Um, another card from Gabby is this one, You Are Simply the Best. And it looks like she um, brushed through a stencil with various different colors of ink. She spritzed it with some glitter spray, so it's really pretty. And then this um, sentiment is die cut with these um, words in black, and then the background it looks like a like a shinier white cardstock or glossy cardstock. I don't know if you can see the shine there. And then she has some really pretty sequins on there as well. So very beautiful. And then the last card I have to share with you is from uh, Marilyn G. So Marilyn, thank you so much. I love this. You're a peach. <laughs> I love these uh, stamped peaches that you've done here. The colors are beautiful. And of course the stamping is super nice as well. And I really like the leaves. Those are really pretty ink colors together. And she also left me a really note inside. So thank you so much, Marilyn. I love your card as well. Um, and then I did get some happy mail in the mail um, earlier this week. And it was from Joanne, and she sent me a little note card um, with this bird paper. I don't know what line this paper is from. It looks kind of Maggie Holmesh, Maggie Holmes, Maggie Holmes ish. <laughs> um, but I love the little birds. I love the colors, and um, those little sweet flowers are so cute. 
really, really cute. So this is the note card that she had inside. Um, she sent me some seeds for the garden. So she sent me some marigolds. So pretty. These are going to be wonderful in next year's garden. I'm going to put them in my uh, seed tray that my friend Tracy made for me. Some butterfly wildflower mix. Those gorgeous poppies. Bachelor buttons. Some forget-me-nots. And I'm going to plant these over by our pond. These are so beautiful. And some Shasta daisies. And I love these too. So thank you so much, Joanne. And she also sent me these um, October afternoon rub-ons. And I love this set. I actually have a lot of this line, but I didn't have the rub-ons. Really cute. And she also sent me um, some Graphic 45 paper, some 8 by 8s This one's called Home Sweet Home. And I don't think I've ever seen this paper line. It is from um, 2015. Um, but I really love the colors. I love the images. And there's some paper in here that's... Um, very quilt-like and of course there's some chickens in here which I was so excited to see. Cute little girls doing some canning and sewing. So it's kind of garden themed, um, homespun themed, that kind of thing. Oh she's peeling apples not sewing. That makes more sense. So really cute. Lots of little vegetable images. I love it. These cute little images too. <laughs> There's a little recipe for grandma's apple pie. So really cute, and I love this one. It looks like a quilt. Cute. Very, very pretty. And then it has the great big image for like a, um, a journal or something like that. Cute. I love it. Thank you so much. And then this one, I have some of the 12 by 12, but I don't have this um, 8 by 8. This one's called French Country. Um, I also have some of the chipboard um, to this line as well. So I love this line. And this one is not new, it's from 2012. So it comes with the big um, front page. Uh, there's some, uh, I can't, Harlequins, I think that's shape is called. Uh, some like tossed sunflowers and chickens. Such a beautiful honey color. And then there's a really pretty red. And then there's this imagery here. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. And the sunflowers. My first sunflower opened in the garden yesterday. It's very beautiful. It's a chocolate um, cherry sunflower. So it's really dark red. And it has a really dark brown center. It's gorgeous. I'll pop in a photo of it for you. Isn't that beautiful? I just love those colors. I love the blue with the yellow sunflowers and those beautiful pears. So pretty, and there's grapes in there too. And chamomile, that's what those little daisies are, chamomile flowers. Cute, I love this. So thank you so much, Joanne. This was so sweet of you. And um, I'm very excited to have this. I love these little cut-aparts too. They're like the two by three size that you could use um, for like, uh, trading card sizes. So cute. Really cute twill. I love the chickens. And that blue is really pretty. So thank you so much. This was just a real treat to get in the mail. Um, let me go ahead and move these things aside. Um, and thank you ladies for the beautiful cards. I love them all. Um, and like I said, I did pop over to the art supply store today. I was on the uh, west side of town earlier this morning. So I stopped in, <clears throat> I picked up some black watercolor uh, postcards. Um, so I thought I'd give these a try. You know how I love my shimmery watercolors. Um, I also picked up <clears throat> a uh, nine by 12, excuse me, eight by eight by almost 12 um, package of black watercolor as well. So I think this will be fun to play with. So it's the same brand. They were having a special on these. So I picked those up. Um, I got some Copic marker replacements for my older, um, the little round, I think they're called Chow. Chow markers. Yeah. 
Um, these just don't, don't hold ink um, as long as I would like. And so as I need new ones um, of the colors, I've been trying to just replace them with the larger um, Copic sketch markers. So I picked up uh, three different blues. I've got the B93, B95, and B97. Um, the nice thing about the art supply store too is when you uh, buy five or more of the markers, they discount them like two or three dollars each. So it's kind of nice. Um, I also picked up a YG03, a yellow green. Um, this one, this color I have, um, but I have it. Um, maybe I don't have it. Oh yes, I have it as a little, a little round one. And I use this color all the time, so I'm constantly having to refill it. Um, I also picked up a YG63. This is the one that I have um, as the original marker. Um, so it has the little bullet point and the um, chisel. And so I wanted it in the brush pen. And then I also picked up a YG93 and I thought this was just a really beautiful color when I used it at the store. And then I also grabbed this YR15 pumpkin yellow. Um, and this is a really beautiful color for fall. So grab that. I also picked up this package of pearlescent watercolors. It's from Fine Tech and it's the flip flop colors. So when you um, look at them in the light, um, they kind of change, they're kind of iridescent and change colors. And so it comes with these six beautiful colors here. And it came with the tin as well. The colors are um, gold, orange, um, excuse me, red gold, pink orange, turquoise red, uh, golden green pink, green amethyst, and blue violet. So you can see how they kind of change colors based on the light. So I thought those were really beautiful and they're going to be really fun to use. <laughs> so um, that's what I picked up, uh, picked up at the art supply store today. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful 4th of July weekend. Um, happy Canada Day to the Canadians who celebrated their Canada Day on the 1st. And happy 4th of July, Independence Day to all of my American friends. And I hope you have a safe weekend wherever you are. We have um, had some exceptionally hot weather here lately. Um, so everything is really, really dry. Um, the only city that's doing fireworks around us um, is a city that is on a great big, huge lake. So they'll do the fireworks displays over the lake um, to not risk any fires. So, um, but I think we're just going to stay home. I'm going to make sure that the uh, garden is watered, all the critters are watered and fed, and um, I'm going to enjoy uh, some pickings from the garden, and I'm going to enjoy my beautiful cut flowers. I cut my first bouquet for the summer um, the other day, so we have that in the house, and it looks like there's some more flowers blooming that I can see from my window. Um, so I'm going to go check those out and just kind of enjoy the weekend. So I hope you all do too. Stay safe and stay cool and hydrated wherever you are. And thanks so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Take care. Bye.